Hello and welcome to the upload for Monday, the 20th of August. This evening we're talking Bethesda, Blizzard, and Badass Monster Killing. Almost alliteration. First up, and it's not a great day for China, because hunters of monsters can no longer hunt. After selling over 1 million pre-orders, Monster Hunter World has been pulled from digital storefront Wii Games, and it's been removed from all players' libraries. It's been speculated the removal came as the Chinese government's state administration of radio and television never approved the game. So it's admittedly pretty wild it even launched. There's sadly no sign of the game relaunching for the Chinese market. Also sad news is that Steep won't be coming to the Switch anymore. Maybe that's just me. Uh, something you might like to know is that Diablo 3 will be coming to the Switch. Blizzard have confirmed that Diablo 3 will be making its way to the handheld console later this year. The title will run at 60 FPS and in sexy 720p when in handheld mode. And for the first time, the game allows players to jump straight into adventure mode. So you can get straight into slashing through those bounty quests. The question that came off the back of that is of course, is there other Blizzard titles that might port to the portable? But senior producer Pete Sitwell stepped in to state that Overwatch is entirely feasible, while StarCraft 2 is next to impossible. So just sit tight and enjoy Diablo 3. Are you sitting tight? Because you might be sitting there for a whole lot longer if you're planning on buying Assassin's Creed Odyssey. In Game Informer's rapid fire question video, the game's director Scott Phillip revealed that the new installment's core campaign is around 30 hours long. That's an additional five hours on last year's Origins. As I'm currently slogging through Origins, I don't need more of that game. Give me less of that game, but a game I would like to see more of is the Avengers game from Square Enix, and we may see more of it soon. Square Enix has announced a new studio named Crystal Northwest. The new dev team will focus on technical support for all upcoming Square Enix titles, as well as taking charge of the Avengers game. Now with the team's primary job being maintenance, it may seem like the Avengers game is kind of like a, a little side project where it's like, deal with it when you've got time. Think about Tony, you know, when you're on the toilet or something. But it isn't because this new team, oh, they've got some top dogs. Among them are Uncharted The Lost Legacy's creative director, Sean Eskeg, and God of War's combat designer, Vincent Napoli. So the flow of an Uncharted game and the combat of a God of War game, ooh, Avengers Assemble is shaping up quite nicely, but something that isn't shaping up quite nicely is Spyro, or at least it's not shaping up nicely on time. Despite their marketing campaign being in full swing, Spyro the Reignited Trilogy has been pushed back to November 13th previously dropping next month. Though no specific reasons were given, the devs commented that they want to craft the best game possible. Which is a fair enough reason. There's plenty of games to play before then. Oh god, there's plenty of games to play before then. And someone who's about to have a lot more time than I do to play those games is Patrick Sutherland. You know, this guy. Yep, you heard that right. Sutherland has been the chief design officer for EA over the past few years, but will be moving on from the company later this year. Sutherland was formerly CEO of DICE, a company that has formed the visual look and feel of EA's games. There's no news of Sutherland's next project, but I just hope 2018 isn't the final time we'll get to see Swedish John Hamm. One thing's for certain though, it's up folks. There's been a few occurrences of this type of game, but never quite so good. Vocabulantis. It's a hard word. Is a video game which uses assets crafted entirely from stop motion. A full behind the scenes look at the puzzle game is linked below. But that is all the gaming news for today. Remember, you can hit that like button and subscribe for more stuff. And you can jump on over and give our Facebook and Instagram pages their respective followables too. Also, we have a Patreon. There's now 16 beautiful humans that have dropped by and now dropped into our super secret Discord. Just two bucks will get you in there, but you know, it's your money. Look after yourself first. But if you've got some money to spare and you want to spend it on something, we're thinking about doing merch. And there's a Facebook poll on Facebook all about that, so go on over if you want to buy some and vote and let us know down in the comments what you want to see. One other little bit of news, it's my birthday on Sunday and on Saturday I'm having a big old party, so this week might be a little bit quiet on the channel. But, you know, if you want to talk about my birthday in the comments, go for it. But until the next video, the Doctor of Who is out. I don't know why I'm clutching my breast. Um, 
There's two videos up there. One is Josh reviewing The Meg, which is very exciting. Josh did a review, and it's very, very funny. And most of you guys have already seen it. You're really enjoying it. There's also a video over there of Josh playing Commander Kane, the second part, not the second game. Also, you can subscribe over there.